Okay, hello, Intro to Philosophy. Um, Grant Yoakum, your instructor here. Uh, I am recording a very quick video to go over um, Phil 1100 test number one. Uh, the first thing to keep in mind is the due date, Wednesday, October 9th by 12 p.m. That's noon. Um, so um, it's what I've done on the test sheet is giving you a lot of boilerplate describing what the tests are, um, uh, talking about the policy on plagiarism, finger wag, finger wag, don't do it. Uh, the missed assignment policy, um, it basically stating that um, any sort of extension involves a conversation. Right. Um, I'm pretty good with granting extensions for these assignments, but um, don't assume you have one and just try to hand it in. Uh, you've got to be granted um, an, an extension by me, so you've got to actually communicate with me. Um, assignment submission, make sure you get me um, your assignment, make sure it uploads, make sure it's on time, and uh, make sure the documents actually leave what you intended to submit. Um, because your assignments for other classes don't do a whole heck of a lot of good here. Um, so uh, it's your responsibility to get it to me. It's my responsibility to comment on it and get it back to you with a grade. So um, now uh, this, uh, this, this is um, an essay assignment. Um, you're writing two short essays, um, 250 to 300 words each, or 350 words each. Uh, based on the prompts below, um, use one inch margins, um, it, that's in Microsoft Word, that's set margins to normal, um, double space, use a 12 point font. Um, I prefer Times New Roman, but uh, I'm not too terribly picky. Um, now, these are not research essays, but um, expository essays designed to test your understanding of the course material. So um, you shouldn't be doing a ton of internet research, um, though if you do use external sources to inform your responses, you should cite this material using a recognized citation style. Note that's recognized, not something you made up yourself. Um, APA, MLA, Chicago are the standard. Um, Google search OWL, O W L, Purdue. Right? This is the online writing lab at Purdue University. Uh, they have style manuals that are up to date for each and every, um, well, APA, MLA, and Chicago. Uh, and so try and for, uh, follow those as closely as possible. Um, the point is, I don't care which citation style you use, just as long as you use. A citation style and actually cite anything um, that you paraphrase, summarize, or quote that doesn't come from your own head. Um, submit your responses in uh, .doc, .docx, or PDF format via Moodle uh, on or before the due date, um, uh, which is October 9th, Wednesday. Uh, your essay should follow the typical format, uh, format offering a very brief introduction, body paragraphs, and a conclusion. All right, so I want that sandwich style of an essay. Um, you should note that these essay prompts uh, direct you to engage with more than one issue related to each theorist, so be sure to break down the, uh, the prompt and uh, into its parts and make sure you answer uh, the question completely. Uh, if there's one mistake that students in the past have made, it's that they've answered maybe a third or two thirds of the question. Um, and even if you do that well, uh, you're only going to at maximum get a third to two third of the marks because they're missing parts of the question. So, um, two questions. Um, uh, first one related to Socrates and the second one related to Plato. Remember, we're making that distinction. Uh, the Socrates one um, asks you to go to page 35 of uh, the five dialogues where Soc Socrates presents an argument where he compares himself to a gadfly. Um, briefly discuss uh, in what respect he's like a gadfly, followed by an account of why this is important by his argument to the city-state of Athens. Note that what I mean here is I need you to unpack the metaphor. Uh, Socrates is the gadfly. How is he like a gadfly? Um, uh, the city-state of Athens is like the great and noble steed. Well, um, how does Socrates the gadfly 
shock or bite the city-state of uh, Athens, shocking it into a, a alertness, right? Just so unpack that metaphor. Um, next, uh, the Socrates video introduces an argument for democracy that stems from Socrates' position. Introduce this argument, right? It's, it's that whole thing where democracies are things you argue to rather than things you argue from. Um, a democracy is the best in the city-state of Athens because it relies on the expression of human excellence, right? The best of our and no, most noble of our uh, 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 faculties, right? Our capacity for uh, rational, deliberative public debate, right? So um, it's good in so far as it relies on what's best in us. Right. Um, uh, so uh, introduce this argument and discuss how the gadfly argument supports a case for um, the protected rights of freedom of speech and by extension in our modern political context, how it might support an argument for freedom of the press as well. All right. So that's out of 10 points. Um, so that's your first one. So uh, you'd be breaking that down into its various parts and making sure to respond uh, to each and every bit of this. Um, note I didn't ask you to engage with the Crito here. Um, it's, I've heard I'd make it a little bit easier for you, but nonetheless. Uh, question two, uh, in Plato, one of the chief elements of Plato's defense of love is that it brings us closer to the knowledge of the perfect truth of the forms. Briefly introduce the, follow, uh, the following elements of Plato's position. Right, so these are things that I want in your paper. The constitution of the soul, right? That is its structure, He, um, what the soul is like, right? Um, on page 30, he introduces this. Uh, hint, it's got three parts, right? Uh, the theory of the forms, right? Um, which I've given you video material for. Um, he discusses, though not in great detail in the Phaedrus, um, I discuss it in my video as well, and his theory of recollection, um, it, which again is in my video as well. Uh, it's relied upon in the Phaedrus, right? Um, uh, noting Plato's account for the relationship between the, soul, uh, between the soul and the perfect forms, discuss how the special character of beauty serves to justify platonic love in the context of this argument. Right now, um, re recall that there are several sort of things that Plato's argument does here. Right, um, this has to do with bringing us to a knowledge of the perfect truth of the forms. Right, this is not the harmony to the soul argument. So, um, it's I figured I'd just head that off real quick. So, um, 10 points for that one as well. Um, and uh, it's, I've got evaluation criteria for these that I've been using uh, for the dog's age, right? Um, I want a clear account of this material, right? So make sure that your response is clear. Um, it's, I, I've been telling students lately uh, that the key to success in university writing is not to write to impress. I don't want to be impressed, but rather write to inform, right? I want to see that you know what you're talking about. Right, uh, completeness, and that's why um, you've got to take a close look at these uh, these these essay prompts and make sure you respond to all of the aspects of them. Um, understanding exhibited in your use of the course material, right, and um, uh, the strength of your argument where required or insight into the material in question, right. Um, did you pick up on the various connections at work in this material? It's nuanced stuff, um, so uh, it, it, I look forward to uh, reading over your response, and uh, please send me any and all questions uh, that you have uh, with regard to this material. So, um, two essays, um, um, October 9th, um, use the citation style if you're using anything outside um, the course material to and uh, what's in your own noggin um, to engage with this. Remember, ideas that you grab from somewhere else belong to somebody else, right? So you've got to give them credit. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, break the questions down into their parts. Make sure they're complete. Um, 
uh, don't plagiarize if you missed the exam like, and like let me know within like what do I say here 12 hours um, or if you're gonna let me know beforehand um, you'll find me quite friendly with extensions um, but uh, nonetheless make sure you get me the right assignment make sure you get me the assignment um, and uh, 250 to 300 words that's each all right I'll clarify on Moodle all right um, have good days one for each of you and let me know if you need anything all right